You don't need these anymore. We're making homemade extract. We just made homemade extracts and we're gonna show you in this video how easy it is to do. What kind did we make? Oh my, mint, orange, lemon, chocolate, almonds, and coconut. Stay tuned for this video. I can't wait to show you how to do this. My wife's gonna do most of the work though. I already smell one of them, don't you? The mint. The mint smells the whole house up. But we got all these kind of fruits. It's so easy to make these extracts. We've made some in the past. What do we got over there, hon? Uh, the vanilla. Vanilla extract. Let me tell you something about the vanilla. You're not going to see that in this video because we got a whole separate video on that. I'll put a link in the description and I'll put some highlights in this video of that. What else we got? Uh, the coffee extract. Coffee extract. And you can use that for what? Um, lots of things. I'm going to later put it in a um, chocolate martini to make it a mocha tini. A mocha tini. That sounds good. And one of my favorites, you can see, I'm making more of this because I'm almost out. The what? The mint extract. The mint extract. Let's just stop rambling and get right into this video. Now, one reason besides making cooking extracts is I want to show you because we have what? Our wine. A wine channel. <laughs> and these extracts are perfect for adding to your wine to add additional flavor. We've mm -hmm. talked about coconut in the past. You never ever want to ferment coconut, but you can add coconut extracts to your wine. Stay tuned to the end to see us how we add extracts to these wine. And at what point in the winemaking process do we do it? Maybe we should have some wine. Okay. <laughs> She's I'm not going to object. She's already ready for wine to get this thing opened up. So you might see some of that here. What are you doing? I wanted to smell it. You got to smell that. Oh my gosh. Oh, chocolate. We're making chocolate extract. This is going to be amazing. Over the top. Yeah, that smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So the first extract we're going to make is coconut. I got a coconut here, a fresh coconut. You want to use fresh coconut. Don't buy any of that shredded stuff. But let's try and get this thing open and get that meat out of here. All right, let's start with the coconut. First thing we got to do is we got to drill a hole in this. Get my drill, honey. Oh. I smell coconut. Let's wrap this up in a towel here and see if I can get it to crack. Look at this. Now, once you get it to this point to get the white out, the best way to do it is to flip it over like this and crack it like that. We should be able to pick a lot of this off of it. See right there's a piece. I'll go ahead and pick this and we'll get our coconut ready to make our extract. So here we go. We got that coconut busted up, but we got these nine ounce containers here. They're considered salsa containers, but they work great for putting in your extracts to get, let these sit in here and create a magnificent coconut extract here. All right, it's time to cut some mint for this mint extract. Get a couple of handfuls of this. Now I'll have links in the description for a lot of these containers and these things that we're gonna finish this extract off. But the next one we're gonna do mint. You wanna put mint in these containers. You don't wanna jam it in there. Just do it loosely. I'm gonna do two containers of this. Looks good, honey. It smells amazing. I mean, it really does. Now, one of my favorites is the cocoa nibs, the chocolate extract. A lot of you that are making wine ask how you add these flavors. Well, here's a chocolate extract that is gonna be great if you wanna make like a chocolate-covered strawberry or chocolate-covered 
cherry extract wine, it's going to be great. You only want to fill these up about half to three quarters of the way. That will be plenty. Now, for your lemon and orange extract, you just want the orange part. You don't want to get any of that white into your extract because it's just going to make it bitter. So I got two oranges here. My wife is going to peel these and then we'll fill the containers, but let's get these peeled first. We peeled these oranges. We're going to just use one container because that'll go a long way in my house. Do you smell that? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. The orange zest, it's amazing. And one thing you want to make sure when you're buying the fruit, always try and get organic because you don't know what's on the outside of these oranges. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Mm, smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Let's do some lemon. Now, make sure again, you're washing your fruit. So we got the lemons and we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the orange. We only want to get that zest off of there. How you doing, honey? Are you getting tired yet? No, nope, almost done. <laughs> it smells like lemon in here. Yeah, wish it smelled like that all the time. <laughs> oh, look at all this. We got tons of extract going here today. Now we're ready to add that lemon zest to the uh, to one of our other containers that we're going to fill up. Again, you need about one half to three quarters full. Three lemons seem to fill these nine ounce containers perfectly. Now, if you watched my Bailey's, remember that Bailey's Irish cream honey? Oh yeah, I remember. You know we use almond extract. You want to fill a container up with sliced almonds. You don't want to get salt added or anything like preservatives but you just want to fill this container up half to three quarters full. That looks perfect. Okay, so we have mint, almond, orange, chocolate, lemon, and my favorite, coconut. Oh yeah, this is going <laughs> to be great. Now, another thing these extracts are great for, if you have a bar and you want to add flavors to drink like a mint mojito, these extracts will work perfect. Now, like I said, these extracts I've done previously, the vanilla, I got a whole video on it. Don't miss it. It's a little bit different here, but the coffee extract is the same. You would fill up a container halfway and you've already seen the mint that we're making extra of. So now the fun begins. We're going to start filling these up with vodka. You just want to get it close to the rim just so the fruit or the almond or the mint is just covered. And you can use any kind of vodka you want for this. Get the cheap stuff. That's not important. This is just acting as a preservative and it's infusing what's in the container into the vodka. We will drain this off at some point. Are we gonna have enough vodka, honey? I think so. We have an extra bottle just it in case. It looks like it. The chocolate seems to take a lot. <laughs> yeah, that'll soak in. You may have to top these off a little bit as they, they settle down a little bit. And like I said, we're just going to continue to add to these till they're up close to the rim. That's all we need. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to get the lids on all these. And then we're going to just turn them upside down a few times on each. And then what we'll do is we'll want to do this every single day for about a week. And then you can probably do it every other day. You could, you might want to have these a little stronger. So you can let them sit in here for a month or so, or even up to three months. The mint will start to like, almost like whittle away. So that's when you know it's time to drain these off and get them in our final bottles and get them labeled. And if you want, you can even give these away as gifts. But look at these colors in these, the mint. If you could smell it in here, how about it, hon? Yeah, it's it's uh, definitely an aroma party happening. What's it kind of, it kind of tastes like almost a pina colada with chocolate, yeah. almond, and mint in it. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to, to use it later. Yeah, it's going to be cool. And I love the colors. Now, one thing you want to make sure as we store these, you want to keep these in a dark place for the next four to six weeks. After six weeks, we'll see what this finished product looks like. That might have to be a part two. 
when we open these and smell them. Are you done? All done. They look amazing. Don't they? Oh my gosh. Great job, honey. Thanks. Extracts, homemade. Use these for wines, cooking, whatever. What are you doing, honey? Well, I'm stacking them up for a picture, but I think it's gonna be too big. Oh, I don't even know if I can get it in there. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Do not drop them. Oh my God, that makes me nervous. Don't say that. Take them off. <gasps> don't. <clears throat> so a lot of you have asked, how do you use extracts in your wine? Well, it's very simple as I'm gonna show you in this part of the video. When you're adding your extracts, your finish extracts, you'll want to do it right before bottling. you want to taste it as you go. Don't use too much because remember, you want to taste the wine first and the extract should be at the very end. So that's what you want to do for these extracts. Add them right before bottling. We see, you've seen us use um, caramel extract. Mm -hmm. You've seen us use the vanilla extract in these wines before. But I can't wait to try that chocolate extract in some of these wines. It's going to be great. Yeah, don't forget about my martini that I'm making. Oh, yeah. She wants to show you how to do that martini. That'll be at the very end of this video. And make sure you're labeling and dating your extracts. You can see these are from September 2020. So one of the really great things to do with the coffee extract, um, the last cruise we were on, I enjoy a chocolate martini and they brought me a mocha tini. So I made the chocolate martini and I used Todd's coffee extract to give it that coffee flavor so it makes a mocha tini. So my favorite thing to do with the, the coffee extract. So not too much, but just to taste. About a half a teaspoon, but put more in if you want more. Less if you want less. And one thing about these extracts, homemade extracts, because you're putting vodka in there, but you can use rum or any other alcoholic uh, preservative that's high in alcohol. These are at 40%, but these will last for three to four years. Mocatini. So they last a long time. You'll use it way before that. Oh yeah, that coffee extract hunt makes it. It really makes it. Thanks for staying tuned in. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Much more coming. We got some surprises, right? Yeah, don't forget about my martini that I'm making. Only one more that's dandelion wine.